Let's go into the gameplay. All right. I love the chair that she's sitting nice. in, by the way. <laughs> so currently, it reminds me of the thinking chair from Blue's Redstone Clues. Redstone <laughs> subway station. Let's walk over here and pick up a couple supplies. I love it. So, um, so as I was mentioning breakable boxes, uh, in the last reaction video, is that the you have a lot of similar um, RE4 mechanics um, with like breakable boxes and like just box, stuff in the environment hey, to interact with. Judge. <laughs> and honestly, like just watching the yeah. gameplay from yesterday, so, uh, this is the knife. I was getting I'm a sure lot of it vibes this time from like miscellaneous RE games. So you can just. Away, whatever. So based on the way that that knife animation is playing out, I'm oh very, very confident that the knife is fixed that. in RE3 I know you guys. I know from a frame rate perspective. Pick up on Rather than a slashing motion, really we're getting a jabbing motion, and I think <laughs> that is going to be what causes <laughs> the knife to not be as powerful because you're not going to have so all of those keyframes going across the screen. Just it's just going to be a, a of it's going to be that like, that, I am ready. that jabbing motion that's going to be cutting down the keyframes. I think there will still probably be a little bit of benefit in frame rate, just because, like I said, I think it's bound to keyframes and however many keyframes there are, but there's going to be uh, many less, there's gonna be a lot less keyframes in that animation compared to the RE2 knife animations. No, but that's okay because I got to show off uh, this ability now that exists in the game where if you get grabbed by a zombie, uh, you can mash the X button to kind of shake him off quicker and it'll also do less damage. Sorry, I'm a little bit nervous. Okay, so, so this is one this thing that we had talked about yesterday. Kind of um, dodge out of their general When When range. we were seeing it and you do this uh, at R1, the, kind of the Capcom TV live stream that we were talking like about. Well. Um, oh, there you go, I got the dodge. If you also get bit, you can actually right get there. through the animations faster so, if you mash. Because um, the perfect dodge it's is a, really it's good a pretty because, cool um, mechanic, and it's one that I was actually that really disappointed that we didn't have an RE2 quicker, remake. So I'm very, very glad that that is back for RE3. Kind of um, oh! Oh! <laughs> nice. nice! So critical headshots well, are still a thing, clearly. Um, All right. So, yeah, and she's also showing off the dodge. Which again, the dodge mechanic is very reminiscent. Um, so from what I've seen, and it's admittedly been a very long time since I've played Resident Evil Revelations 2, but from what I understand, it's very similar. But what they've actually done is they've kind of taken the dodge mechanic from the classic version of RE3, and they kind of split it up into two separate mechanics. So you can dodge at any point in time. You can use a button combination to dodge um, even if there's no enemies around. So that's a pretty cool so, system because it gives you more flexibility this, with how you honestly, dodge. And I you really couldn't like do that this, initially um, in RE3 Classic. The perfect dodge mechanic one of my first is one that I, I think is, is um, kind of stemming kind of from so the actual dodge that mechanic that of RE3. But where I mean that they've split it up into now. two is that the dodge that you can do at any time, you do not get iframes. So you can literally do the dodge, and if there's another zombie in your way while you're in the middle of that animation, it can grab you and it can it can cause you to take damage. Um, with the perfect dodge, though, from what it looks like, you actually do get iframes with the perfect dodge. But unlike an RE3 Classic, September 28th, most of the power it, so up, like RE3 Classic, they're both frame specific. Like you have to time it at the right frame, but. Unlike the classic version of RE3, right, uh, you actually do get iframes. So it's like they've kind of taken that mechanic and split it up into two different mechanics, which I really like that because it oh, gives you more flexibility with how you get to navigate the environment and dodge enemies. Now, I think from a speedrunning standpoint that those two mechanics are going to be incredibly useful. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. Fuck you. I've been saying this for all the video clips that we've seen well, where Carlos and Jill are talking to each other now. I love well, the character I mean, dialogue so far. Highly flammable, so uh, there, there's no way we're going through there today. Okay? Okay, chat? Sorry. I'm betting that that Speaking little fire that, hydrant over there has something to do with well. it. Oh, God, that, that thing gives me nightmares, by the way. That is nightmare fuel. It's like a little... <laughs> um, <laughs> let's take a look at Jill. So... This is also something that really struck me the most when I played this uh, the first time when I kind of saw Jill. She looks amazing. 
she really does have that OG semblance of the original RE3 Jill, but obviously she's a bit redesigned. Her her outfit is maybe a bit more practical for a situation where you would be, you know. Yeah, a lot of people are really mad about for your, the for your life and the costume selection because they were like, "Oh, it's so annoying I, that I you have like to, you know, pre-order the game for the the special guys, costumes for the classic costumes or the really the right remade the classic costumes." Honestly, name. though, like I I like the redesigned costume. Yeah, I, I think I it looks Jill good. I mean, they definitely use the tank top design a lot with like heroine characters, like Lara Croft and. And Claire, obviously, you know, Claire has a tank top in RE2. Um, but I think the design makes a lot more sense. We're talking about September Oops. weather, first and foremost, which, like, I mean, a tank top in September, I mean, it might be a little chilly. I mean, at least at least well, Claire has a jacket a on, you know what I mean? But, placed barrel like, a skirt right and a tube to top in September, zombies. first and foremost. <laughs> In the Midwest, that's going to be right, a bit chilly. Those guys. <laughs> Which she does have a hoodie, I guess you you check could say out, with the, the classic costume design. She does have a hoodie, but she doesn't wear it, which kind of defeats the purpose. Noodles. I thought this was funny too, and like I didn't really react to it too much in the last video, but yeah, I thought that was funny. That's I don't know about you guys, but that seems that seems kind of expensive to me. But that's incredibly anyone, expensive. Anyone want some umbrella I think I pay like twenty cents, if know, that, for ramen, man. And then so a 12 pack are, would cost me like uh, three Resident bucks. Resident Evil fans, <laughs> I'm sure you'll recognize that beer that's on that's being advertised there. Actually, I thought that was Leon for a sec. He does look a lot like Leon, but I don't think it is. <laughs> I, I think uh, Leon that's is very funny. much focusing on his law enforcement career. Yes. Uh, tomato. That's, the tomato is creepy too. Just like the <laughs> the the face dude on the toy store okay. that. That is if just as creepy. If anyone's curious, by the way, this is being, because I see some people asking what system we're playing it on. This is being played on a PlayStation 4. <laughs> Blue Mountain. I love the lights. Ah, like, and really I, cool. I haven't so really been talking about that too much in the, the videos, but um, the lighting in this is Blue so Mountain cool. Storehouse is the area like, you definitely get that, like, downtown, first, inner city, in like, nightlife vibe. So it's really cool to see this. You know all these details. Like, if you really take a look around the environments, you can she's tell talking about it too. <laughs> so much attention to the rest of the Ari, um, the Ari universe. Gems, crabs. All right. I did not even notice you, lady. I would <laughs> love to see what there. happens. I was. I, I was. Busy I would love to see what crabs. happens. Uh, God, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> if she doesn't mash. Like how long the animation is, if you don't mash. That's one thing that we haven't seen yet. Ooh! Just trying to get through. Excuse me, fellas. Yeah, that's tough. Excuse me. Oh my goodness! I, I Moon's can see donuts. That my yeah, they were taking not, a look uh, at the donut shop. Very well. And uh, I wanted to show you guys something else. in the last oh, video, and I thought it was these guys they, they looked down. pretty tasty. Take this. Looks like there was like a pool bar in the other alley over there. Yeah, they're slow. Well, I mean, what do you expect? They're zombies, right? Well, they're, they might be slow for now. <laughs> Dancing zombies! <laughs> yeah, so you have these generators you can shoot as well, which is very helpful. Very helpful. Except for that one zombie that All just right, like decided he didn't want to deal with like it. Like, Go in here deal to with Moon's it. Donuts <laughs> for just a second. Oh! You guys hear that? Oh, yeah, it's the... Every time, it gets me. That's like my favorite track from the RE2. Sure the, the OG that. RE2 OST. The original RE2. Nice. Very nice. I tell you what, the music fits, though. Like that, that like, yeah, diner like vibe. You know what I mean? And as you can tell... Actually, let's, let's get back to that in a second. Hold that thought, chat. Hold that thought. So this is something we do not have yet. We can't open this. But we can go in here. Don't pick it up. You guys hear this? That's the... That's Very the nice. original. Save room theme. Free from fear. 
That is the original Save Room theme. That's awesome. It is this the Save Room theme from RE3 is by far my favorite Save Room theme of all of the games. What yeah, it's it's a little bit quiet, box? but any guesses? It's a little quiet. Hmm? I already know if what's anyone in there. says Jill's sandwich, I'm I'm just ending the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I know what it is. Right. That's only because of the guesses? last video. Oh my goodness! Wow. No, no demo. No, sorry. It's just a gem. <laughs> but I'm not gonna tell you. So the jewel puzzle is obviously still in the away. game. It doesn't take up some space. Looks like the the actual item box itself is uh and i think there was a green herb it looks like the item box itself is actually yes, pretty definitely need it basic <laughs> as far as uh like they, it almost looks like they stripped away Gem some of the sandwich? stuff from the item Good box one. to make I, I saw to that make one. it more simple okay what it looked like i actually want to um this time <laughs> i actually wanted to read the description of the handgun real quick let me see i'll, I'll bring it right back to where it was before i wanted to see actually put it away if there was actually a description oh no dang it man it's like every time I, I miss it, like just barely. I just but wanted to read the description of the, the pistol. Actually put it away. It 15 shot, 9 millimeter handgun known for its compact size. Made from an extremely durable resin. It's used by Armed Forces Worldwide. Yeah, it's, it's just a Glock 19. I didn't know if there was anything special. Like Leon's handgun Definitely. description is actually kind of funny. I'm pretty sure an RE2 remake, it literally, when you examine it, basically describes it as a piece of garbage. <laughs> Ooh! They brought back the zombies jumping out of cars. That's awesome. That was like probably. Oh! oh! You got a fast the zombie one. came out of nowhere. That was one of the scariest parts of RE3 was zombies jumping out of cars out of nowhere. That is sweet <laughs> that they brought that back. I'm taking so much damage today. I apologize. Oh, so close. All right, let's just get this heal out of the way. There we go. And then let me see if I can get some nice... Okay, oh. that happened. That works. Oh, the, uh, okay. the push-off mechanic is still in from RE2. Very cool. We've seen oh, a little okay. bit of gameplay footage at this point, but that's the first time that I've actually seen that happen. So there's, so there's actually nice three different ways to dodge. <laughs> Technically, oh, if you one include of them is that one. Away. Where's he going? But that one's kind of that one's kind of random. Though. All right, like, that's fine. Th there's a very specific angle that a zombie has to so, lunge yeah. at you for that to um, even happen. Barrels, your best friend in this game. There's, there's not too many of them, I promise. All right, nice. Ah, Kite Bros Railway. Sorry, we're not going to stop in there to Oh goodness, we're not going to stop in there today. Yeah, I mean, um, it's it's sort of RNG, sure but it's not really RNG. It's actually based on the angle at which you uh, are running versus the angle in which third, a zombie attempts to grab you. That's that's pretty much how the um, So yeah, as as I was trying to say earlier. Oh yeah, here's the pharmacy as it's well. It's pretty much how it Ooh. how it, it works. But you can tell the door is open, but I'm, I'm not going to go in there. I'm not going to go in there. I'm trying to keep the element of surprise for you guys. The pharmacy. Guys. Sorry. <laughs> it's tempting. We go, we go in no. Safspern, boys? What are we doing? <laughs> we go in Safspern, boys. It's the pharmacy. We got to know the combo. I'm thinking Saf Safspern. If you think it's Aqua Cure, you can just, you can just leave stream right now. Oh, hey, sleeping guy on the ground. <laughs> Um, we've been watching for a few minutes now. I'd say it's we're we're over halfway through we could the just video head up here now. Um. So yeah, I I know I haven't um done a fantastic job of demonstrating it today, but the dodge here that door the game, uh, some of the things is from do, like, the classic version of our. They grabs, literally remade that door, which is you, hilarious. You still take damage, but you shake them off much quicker, and you end up taking a lot less damage than you could have. So, uh, and the barrels and the shootable objects, these things are all very necessary for the slightly more, I want to say, intense gameplay of RE3 Remake. Um, yeah, so to you know, kind of elaborate on what she's saying, RE3 definitely will. Also, there's if a you guy guys here, remember in RE3 Classic, 
you can actually take a lot of damage in that game. Like, like seriously, you can get bit like eight times and still be in, in fine. I'm like, <laughs> like it's, it's crazy like how that. much damage you can take. And so like it sounds that. like they're kind of doing the same thing. So I feel like even if you're on hardcore, it's not going to be like it is an RE2 remake where you it's get all bit about once you have to, and you take dodge. like insane like you literally it's like two dodge, bites in hardcore and um, re2 remake and you're dead you have to wait till i'm right predicting that with re3 to, because it's more action-packed and the fact that you can reduce like so. the amount of damage you take and then i'm thinking R1 that you can probably still tank a few hits before you have to be really worried even on hardcore like um just due to so the pacing of the game i think it'd be very challenging to try to uh, movement and make it I'm that sure challenging so many when there's way more enemies out there who are um, just analyzing everything i'm trying to do and you know to break it down looks like that in some ways they actually right are now. a little bit faster <laughs> but, than they were um all right in re re2 like the, and there's a, like i said we, the main thing is that there's today. a lot more of them nope um so they are bringing the safes back from the looks of it so uh we are gonna have to find safe combinations so Oh, yeah. I That'll either be in the files or probably scribbled on a so chalkboard so. somewhere. Everything here. Uh, if I'm sure the headphone users that are listening to this right now can really appreciate the ambient sound, by the way. Uh, you can kind of hear gunshots in the distance and you can hear like the final struggles as the city is slowly dying it's it's really creepy and uh, yeah that's crazy this, this see it's it's a little quiet for me so i can't actually hear that let me see if there's any <laughs> can i amplify the bot no i i can't right, really see. hear it that well even with headphones on I think we got some but company here. that's really cool that like you can hear gunshots in the distance i i can't hear them through the headphones but Hungry. um hopefully when i get yeah. these new uh i ordered some steel series arctis pros oh <laughs> And, uh... Oh, God, we, Jill. We might just... Mind your distance. Here, uh, with those. <laughs> so, yeah, you can, as you can see, there's gonna be several little paths. Looks like, it looks like there's gonna be bringing place. shortcuts right and stuff back, back to the game, too. Um, where we started. Like, putting that ladder down now gives you very quick access back to that right main back road where we that, started by Toy Uncle. that she started in. Jim's Crabs and the Umbrella Noodles. And Blue Mountain Storage. That kind of looks like the. Oh it God, looks that, like Big Boy. Something really menacing about that. Doesn't that guy look like uh, the dude really from Big Boy, but with a clown that. nose? <laughs> I feel like something's gonna happen. Oh, that's funny. All right, let's play around with the zombies. I was trying to put. I was trying to uh, think of the stream. the brand. Like I said, this would be a but that's very pretty funny. <laughs> Um, it reminds me of Big Boy. Some of the fundamental basics <laughs> of the gameplay, at least. I just want to see if I can have something else interesting happen. There you go. I think he's down. Yeah, like that doesn't seem to be. Yeah, the knife doesn't seem to be a, a massive. Uh, at least visually, anyway, it doesn't sound Can as juicy the as the RE2 remake somebody? knife with high frame rate. Nice. Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think oh she's trying goodness. to do another perfect dodge. All right, there's another guy. There's a friend. There's a friend. Careful. Oh, it looks like it was it was close. It was close. Knife seems more like a good finisher to save ammo on zombies, knock them down anything. and knock them down and stab them to death. Yeah, that could definitely be an option. Literally lacking it today. There we go. There it is, nice. All right, that's enough. That's enough. I, I'm not feeling brave anymore. <laughs> uh, let's hide inside of Moon's Donuts because we all know that zombies do not like donuts. For whatever. We all know that Moon's Donuts is safe. <laughs> But yeah, the dodge is really fun. Like I said, it gives you an opportunity to plan ahead as for what you're gonna do. Um, you know, will you shoot immediately and take out whatever's in front of you? Will you use it as an opportunity to get out of the tight spots and run? Um, yeah, the shootable objects are nice, just kind of something to help you along the way, but you will still very much need to watch your ammo and be very careful with ammo management, just like any other RE game. 
Yeah, they did say that ammo was going to be more abundant in this game, but everything uh, else but yeah, is more abundant me, too in terms of enemies. So uh, you will, you'll still have to be incredibly careful because even though they're giving you more ammo, they're giving you more ammo because there's way more enemies. Unfortunately, so. though, let's 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 drop uh, let, let's leave Jill in here while I uh, have a quick talk. She she's not looking in too good shape. I just don't want her to be munched on by zombies any more than she already has. Hmm. Poor Jill. <laughs> um, that's gonna be it for today. Like I said, a very very short stream. Yeah, this is a um, this was some really good. Uh, I really want to make. Sure that was some really good gameplay, guys. Um, you know, in terms of like what it was offering, I think this is just another like recap of footage right here. I could be wrong, but um, I think we've seen all we needed to see as far as gameplay goes. So pretty much the same areas as the Capcom TV one, but um, she does elaborate a little bit more on some of the gameplay mechanics. And we actually did get to see the knife used offensively, which um, hopefully puts to rest people's concerns about the power of the knife. But again, until we actually get to compare console to PC, it's gonna be hard to say. But from what I can see, I think the knife seems to be in a good place. Um, and honestly, with this being played on PS4, it looks really, really good. Um, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't remember. I think she answered on Twitter. I don't remember if it was a PS4 Pro or a regular PS4, but, um, they did say that, um, they did say that regardless of what system and what, like, platform or whatever you're playing on, um, it's still going to look great and it's going to have relatively high frame rate. So, um, She's going to show a death animation. Okay. All right. We can watch the sure death animation. That I don't spoil the game for you guys. So there, honestly, there's not too much more I can do, but I hope that you've at least learned a couple of things about the gameplay. Um, someone said show deaths. Do we, re do you really want to kill Jill? <laughs> do you guys actually want to kill Jill? I mean, I was going to end it here, but. All right. Let's see it. Yeah. Oh, I'm seeing, a, I'm sorry. But I am seeing a huge amount of yeses. More than no. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You guys we'll are, you guys are uh, brutal. I, I guess we're going for the non-canon <laughs> ending here then, huh? All right. All right, let's oh, see zombies. it. Zombies! I bet they're not interested now. They're just like... <laughs> Wait, just want to get one more dodge in. Do oh, God, where's the other guy? There he is. I wonder if they can do the double. Oh, ho, ho! I wonder if they I wonder if they can still do the double one where two of them the tackle final you. Final standoff. All right. Here you go. Here you go. Eat me. Let's see it. Right into the loving embrace. Okay, it looks like that might actually be a thing. Oh! Nice. That is brutal. He got a that chunk. That is brutal. All right. <laughs> there we go. You guys All right, that was that, was that was that was pretty fun. Hope you're happy with yourselves, chat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That that was pretty funny. Um, yeah, that was that was good gameplay though. I mean, like I said, it's a little bit more, um, a little bit less structured, I think, than than Capcom TV's, um, like pre-recorded footage that they did. Uh, but it was cool to kind of see, you know, some of the different, uh, like elaborations on the mechanics and Yo, stuff. Thank oh, you very. I accidentally hit the space bar. Um, but if you guys are checking this out on YouTube, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Channel memberships are live starting at $1.99 right next to the subscribe button below here. You can click join uh, and select countries and get started for $1.99 and take advantage of some really cool perks. Uh, but with that being said, thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.